Hello gamers, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you a glitch for Black Myth Wukong that everyone's talking about on the internet. And full disclaimer, if you don't want to ruin your experience for this amazing game, I suggest you not watching this video or maybe come back to this after you've beaten the game and you're doing a second run through because for me, I think I'm going to be having a hard time not using this glitch after that I've already learnt it. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's get started. What you need is, um, I'm not very, very far in this game, so I'm still in chapter one. And after you've beaten the Black Wind King here at Black Wind Cave, all right, that's what you really need. You need to beat him first in order to do this glitch because after you beat him, you get this spell okay here in alteration called cloud step okay you need this spell okay cloud step so and also you also need to uh, go to staff stances and unlock pillar stance and this one this second one uh, let me move my camera it's called the sweeping gale okay so it's very easy to unlock you don't really need a lot of points at the top so pillar stance sweeping gale okay to in order to um use sweeping gale you need to use the pillar stance okay which is uh you have to let me you have to press the up button okay so if you press the up button you're in pillar stance okay this is the pillar stance all right and in order for sweeping gale you need to press the weak attack and then heavy attack but you need one focus point okay so let me show you and in order to use cloud step you press the r2 and then y okay so we need to be in sweeping gale like do the sweeping gale and then spam cloud step okay, let me show you if i can find an enemy to beat up and get one focus point first Yeah, maybe I need to rest. So I can respawn. The oh, here he is. He's an enemy. Okay. So he's an enemy. I'm just going to, like, attack and, like, save up a focus point. All right. I've got a focus point right there. Okay. So once you've got the focus point, weak attack, heavy attack. This is the sweeping scale. And then spam cloud step. All right. So now, once I've done this, I'm, I've am i already done the glitch. Okay. So now I've got infinite mana. So you can see here. I can immobilize and I can like keep spamming immobilize because I've got infinite mana and I can also cloud step. See that? Okay, see how I can keep on spamming immobilize. So yeah, this is really, really powerful. This glitch. See, I can like just... I can just immobilize everyone. Okay, and like, if you want to make it go away, you just have to transform. Okay, so once you transform, and then you de-transform, you don't have that skill anymore. But now I can't spam it. Okay, but you can do it again. You can do it again if you want. Okay, let me do it again. I need to like save for the... I need to get one... Okay, now I've got the... Now I've got the focus point. Okay, now do the sweeping scale and then cloud step. Okay, now I can do it again. See that? I'm gonna just spam it. So yeah, that's it guys. Um, I hope this was helpful. Um, I wouldn't suggest using it for your first playthrough. Uh, this is my first playthrough. I haven't beaten the game yet. I haven't really had a lot of time playing this game, but I'm really enjoying it. And I hope I won't be using this. I'm trying not to use Wiimod or any trainers or anything like that. I'm trying to play this game legit. But this glitch, yeah, it's going to be hard for me not to use it. I'm going to try my best. So let me know in the comments if you have any issues. And thank you for watching. See you guys in the next one. Later.